All right, I've been seeing some confusion surrounding added sugars lately, so let's talk about it. All right, so we have just pure maple syrup right here. On the label, you can see that the sugars are listed, total sugars, 24 grams. There is not added sugars, but they do include the percent daily value of added sugars on this one. Um, so this in and of itself is, you know, it's just pure maple syrup. So it's a sugar, obviously. Um, if this were to be added to a food, it would be considered an added sugar because it is sugar that is added to a food. So I have a product here that is sweetened with both honey and sugar, and both of these are gonna be included in the grams of total sugars and the grams of added sugars on the label because both honey and sugar, cane sugar, are sources of added sugars. Same thing would be if maple syrup was added to a product, that would be counted in the added sugars on the label. Whether the sugar is coming from a syrup, agave syrup, honey, maple syrup, uh, corn syrup, or a granulated sugar like brown sugar, cane sugar, beet sugar, whatever it is, coconut sugar, those are all going to be included in the total sugars and the added sugars on the label. Now where it gets confusing is fruits and fruit juices because a fruit juice, a 100% fruit juice, if you were just to squeeze the juice out of an orange and however much sugar that would have, if that juice, um, not concentrated, is added to a product, that sugar would have to be included in the total sugars, but it would not be considered an added sugar. And then there's products like fruit snacks, which have fruit juice concentrates, and not all of the sugar coming from the fruit juice concentrate is gonna be counted in the added sugar. So how that is determined is, the number of grams of sugar that are above what a 100% juice would contain, that amount of sugar is included in the added sugars. Um, all of the sugars counted in the total sugar, but then for something like a fruit juice concentrate, it's just the amount above a 100% fruit juice that is counted as added sugars. To confuse this even further, if you were to have a dried fruit in a product, which is technically a concentrated fruit, that would not be considered added sugar. So if you had a granola bar with some dried cranberries, dried blueberries, um, the sugars coming from those dried fruits would not be counted as added sugars because it's just the whole fruit that is dried down into dried fruit. So those sugars would be counted in total sugars, but not added sugars. If you have a fruit juice from concentrate that is reconstituted, to the amount that just a regular 100% juice would be, then those sugars would not be added sugars either because it's the same amount of sugar as a non-concentrated fruit juice would have. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any other questions about added sugars because it is very confusing.